So welcome to the first uh, Hack the Sea Village at DEF CON. Um, the, voyage, the voyage begins. So um, I'll avoid turning this into uh, like an Academy Awards acceptance speech and save all the thank yous and the giant, the giant list of well-deserved thank yous for our closing ceremonies. Um, however, uh, I did want to remark that you know, putting together this village has been uh, a Herculean task. Uh, doing a completely new DEF CON village and one that involved the logistics of bringing in trucks full of industrial control systems uh, and other gear. So um, without the help of uh, Chris at uh, ABS and Zach and the crew from Patton 5, uh, um, MPS ISAL, and of course uh, Bo, and my other fellow volunteers from I Am The Cavalry, uh, we really would not have been able to make this happen. Uh, so why did we kind of go through all the trouble to put this event together? Um, I think uniformly all the people I just mentioned would probably say it's because it's just that important. Like this, this village this year had to happen. So, uh, you know, you'll, you'll sometimes hear people talk about uh, the maritime industry as a, you know, that in terms of operating vessels for cargo, as an example, it's about a trillion dollar industry, like 19 to 20 trillion dollars a year transit U.S. ports in terms of trade and goods. So they'll say that maritime is, you know, a critical infrastructure sector, but we say that about banks. We say that about a lot of things. Maritime, no, truly is a critical infrastructure, not because of the money involved. So, um, you know, with I, I'm a volunteer, grassroots volunteer with I Am The Cavalry, as well as Project Gunsway. I'm a co-founder of Project Gunsway, sort of the maritime offshoot of I Am The Cavalry. Um, and our, you know, our mission is, core mission is, making a difference where computer security intersects safety of life. So... You know, it's it's there are human beings at stake, and not just the lives of people who are crew and passion, passengers aboard vessels, but as you know, as with aviation or car hacking, but more so in the sense of um, just like with the power industry, right? Uh, oil, food, just to mention two things, depend on the ships showing up and the ports being open. So if that goes down, just like the power grid going down, millions of people are affected, lives are gonna be lost. So we really felt it was important to get this ball rolling and this conversation going. Um, so this is a village with a mission this year. So what are our objectives and what do we want all of you to help us accomplish with Hack to See this year? DEF CON's theme was for this, for this uh, the 27th year of DEF CON is technology's promise. So we will have the Seasteading Institute and immediately following myself and our keynote speaker, we will have a talk from someone from the Seasteading Institute talking about building a better future for humanity beyond our shores and how we as a hacker community can help realize the potential of Seasteading, which, you know, for example, much like cryptography, has the possibility to expand or otherwise kind of shrinking personal spheres of freedom, uh, as well as as well as a number of other th other challenges that can be overcome. Our big focus, though, this year is to introduce the DEF CON community to the protocols and all of the technology involved in maritime industrial control systems and operational technology, which may not be familiar to people who, even if you have a traditional, I'll call it, infosec background. Um, hopefully we can open up that kind of a hatch to a whole other world of opportunities for people who do everything from bug hunting to working on open source code projects, etc. To that end, we actually hope we hope all of you are invited uh, to join us in Buoy Talks, which has been packed so far this morning, which are our workshops to get people up to speed with 101 level knowledge about maritime systems and technology that's kind of peculiar to the maritime sector. And then there will be opportunities for everyone to get hands-on um, over on our Lido deck and hang out, play with the gear, participate in our, if you want a more structured challenge, participate in our uh, ca uh, capture the flag 
um, event that we'll have going on, which instead of a CTF, we are calling a CTF, as in Pack the Sea. Um, and that would be, that's the grace system that Fathom 5 brought for us. So you will have the opportunity to hack a ship here at DEF CON if you so desire. Um, the other kind of side of that golden piece of eight uh, is we want to introduce uh, all of you and the hacker community to the maritime world. And, you know, we have organizations that we've brought in today, like the Amer uh, American Bureau of Shipping and others who operate vessels and ports, um, as well as there are going to be some policymakers around uh, today. So we want to help, you know, provide the opportunity uh, for you all to help I am the cavalry in Project Way and kind of our policy hacking efforts to make sure that there are clearly defined, legal, safe ways for security researchers to make a positive impact and positive contribution in this area and in safeguarding critical infrastructure and maritime.